So I'm really pissed off. Finished. I didn't even finish. I was recording a video. I was about halfway done. You know, I freaking spoke my heart out, talked very well about the subject, and my power goes out. It's been going off on and off for about fucking one hour already. Sorry for the language. And it goes off halfway when I was doing so good talking to you guys. And the worst part stopped raining. And one random ass thunder decides to hit somewhere here. I have no idea because I don't know how it works. And it turns off my power. Like, seriously, man? Seriously? And the worst part out of all of this is the fact when you talk about a subject so dear to you and it hits you right in the feelings, you know, you have it on your head. The first time you talk about it, it slowly starts to go away. Like, it's like you said everything so perfect how you really felt. And now you have to kind of remember, you know, how to say it again. Either way, guys, in today's video, I will be talking about the truth, the only truth, and nothing but the truth. If you guys know me, and then my YouTube and my fans and my supporters, I'm, I'm pretty honest, you know, I'm honest on whatever subject it may be, only God can judge me, right? And I just talk about how I feel most of the time, and I'm always pretty honest, like, no matter what it what it may be, how I feel, if you guys think I'm right or if I'm wrong, whatever the case might be, right? I'm, I'm very honest with you guys, and in today's video, I want to be talking about the truth and, you know, pretty much very, very personal with you guys. A lot of you guys know I've been playing Call of Duty since... Cod 4, I played pubs. MW2 was kind of my beginning, my AM, my AM age. Uh, Black Ops 1, I became a semi-pro, then became a pro towards the middle. And then I, MW3, I played halfway. I was really, really good. I decided to quit because nothing to play for, and I just met Maria, and that was my senior year of high school. You know, I don't plan on playing my whole life. As much as I would love to and I would like to, even though Call of Duty can be very, very, very frustrating. If anyone agrees, raise your hand. Yes, I saw you, Johnny. Johnny's too, not that much of a general name. I saw you, Kevin. I gotta move on, right? I gotta worry about my future, about my career, about a family later in the future when I have one, and all that stuff. And it can be frustrating when things don't go your way, when you're really trying your heart out, and nothing's working, right? But in the end of the day, like, what is trying your heart out? What? Like, people could sit there and say, you know what, I tried my best. You know what, I did this, I did that. But are they honestly doing their best? Have you, like if you see someone at their full potential, you see someone who went really hard at a certain point, you know you that you know what to expect from, to, from them when they're gonna go hard as fuck again. But when you when you see them like attempt to do it, like let's say they play, you're like he's like oh yeah I tried my best, and you watch him, and you're like no that wasn't your best. Let's let's be real here. But like what is trying hard out? And I myself. No, because I know myself, I know my potential, I know what I'm capable of, I know when I slack, I know when I don't slack. And you know, if you know yourself, you know as well. So, I personally, um, I have been going really hard in competitive mainly. Uh, on YouTube and streaming, I've been slacking a lot, you know, it could be really time consuming, it can be really... It can be really exhausting. Let's use, let's use the word exhausting, especially, especially when it comes to streaming. Streaming for long hours. You know, I wish MLG was a little better, and I guess I would be a little bit happier to stream. But when it's so exhausting, it literally just consumes my whole day. And, like, I have fun, which is a good thing, especially when I'm playing with my subscribers or viewers or whatever the case may be. You know, I have fun. But at the end of the day, it, it can be really, really, really exhausting. Either way, back to the subject. So, I know myself, and I know at events, I know when I play. I, I, I can tell when I went really hard, like, if we lost or we won. I'm like, damn, I went really hard this game, and I played good, you know, I tried my ass off. And there's going to be games where I, I didn't. I went 100%. There's a difference between 100% and 110%. And if you don't believe me, watch me play, and I'll give you 110%. You, you can tell the difference when I'm, like, kind of like kind of going hard, and when I'm, like, trying my ass off, you know, this is life or death situation right now. Oh, you got raped. And I've done a lot of shit decisions in my life, in my, well, not my life, in my career of gaming, you know, there was a lot of times where I wish I tried my ass off. I wish I went hard. You know, I, I needed, I wish I didn't have an excuse saying that I was too tired, that this, that. Like, no, excuses aren't going to take you anywhere. Excuses aren't going to, yeah, they aren't going to take you anywhere. You know, this is going to hold you back. What's the point of having an excuse? Oh, you like hiding, huh? Huh? Oh, you like losing, huh? It's going to hold you back. Am I correct? Am I right? They're holding you back. So I wish in my career, and not not necessarily uh, team changes, if that's what you're assuming. Whether it does trophy. What do you what do you think? I'm talking about Doug, or I'm talking about any team changes I've made recently, or anything like that. I don't I don't really mean those decisions. I mean more like 
I wish there was a tournament. I would have tried harder. I wish I would have done this play. Uh, I wish I would have played a certain league match when I could have instead of missing it and affecting me in the long run and stuff like that. And I regret it, you know. I regret it. And you never want to regret something because when you regret something and when it when you let it eat you alive, it's just going to cause negativity. It's going to make you more upset. It's going to make you depressed. And it's going to make you, you know, want to change your life. That you wish you never did, did that decision or whatever the case may be. You, you know, you're going to wish that that never happened that you could go back and change it but then if you if you go that that route if you go that way like you can't you can't do that you know you can't let yourself be eaten alive it's just gonna cause negativity in your life it's gonna make you even more depressed it's gonna make you more upset and what's gonna what's gonna do that like what's that gonna do for you think about it is it gonna make you is it gonna it's just gonna make you more sad it's gonna make you run away from the situation it's gonna make you not want to do anything it's gonna make you more depressed more upset and that can't be your mentality. Your mentality has to be a good mentality. More like, it happened, I have to move on. You have to move on. You know, it's it's not going to take you anywhere if you just keep thinking about it. It's caused more negativity in your mind. It's not going to do anything for you, right? You have to move on. You have to focus on the future. What's next for you? Uh, you know, you, you fucked up. You messed up in that one time, that one situation you messed up. Well, now it's time for you to change that. It's time for you to work harder. It's time for you to prove yourself that, you know, things are going to get better. It's got to work harder. You got to work for it. And recently, I've been kind of dealing with that, you know, negativity, uh, really just eating me alive, feeling feeling a little bit upset that I wish I never made those decisions. But then I always it always hits me in my mind. I'm like, no, I can't think like that. You know, that's not the way I have to think. I have to get over it. You know, I have to. It's it's not going to take me anywhere or anything like this. All it's making me do is be more negative and just want to quit or want to want to that want to this i don't want to do that you know so let's take an example let's let's use two examples to start off one you guys know i didn't make the leap right if you think it couldn't get any worse than that i mean i didn't i didn't make money at champs i didn't even place in the money at champs uh you know i, I had a very good event at champs i personally think i had a really good event but unfortunately we couldn't close out as a team you know we lost i didn't make money whatever time to move on um, I didn't get in phase. Oh, I got dropped from phase red. You guys know that. After we won Columbus, I think. Oh, after Orlando. You know, Ace wanted to have his own team. Things were working out, right? So I got in the league. I've had about four or five different teams because the roster kept on changing. And it was terrible, right? At the end of the day, we ended up making the league. There was a lot of holdback, a lot of setbacks, and it kind of affected us. So we didn't make the league. I go to the relegation tournament. Feeling good, feeling ready. I did have, I think, two bad maps in that tournament, really bad maps. And I am a part. I could have played better. Like I said, I could have gone harder, could have played better, could have performed a lot better. And I personally played average, in my opinion. I didn't play like the Apathy. I played like the Apathy, you guys know, on, I guess, Friday and Saturday. Sunday, I could have played way better. Replies. I'm talking, Mark. So I go to a relegation tournament. We lose. Last round, 5-5. Five, five. Boom. I'm out of the tournament. I didn't, even make it to the, I didn't even make it to the season. I lost in a relegation tournament, which normally a player like me that's been playing for a long time, and I have a really good team. We should have made, made it, right? I mean, we, we choked really bad against Synergy, and then we lost to ISO 5-5, and I could have performed better that series. I 100% agree. And then you can also look at my YouTube. You know, I love doing videos. You know, I love having fun. I love being creative. I'm, I've always been a really creative person. Uh, I kind of, I love art. You know, I love, I used to love to draw and stuff like that. I did a video on this a while ago about drawing. But, you know, and I love doing this. And also, but in the end of the day, I also want to see results. I want to see progress. I want to see, you know, maybe me getting more subscribers, more views. Because that's, that's a good thing, right? That's what makes you more happy. That's what makes you more excited to continue doing it. That's what motivates you more. If you see results, you're like, oh, shit, you know, I'm doing good. I'm feeling good. I want to keep doing this. I want to keep seeing more results and results. And lately, you know, I don't know if it's because when I, I, I changed my thing to I took off phase because I'm not necessary. I'm not really, really, really on phase or what happened with Doug or anything, but I'm losing subscribers every day. If you guys haven't noticed, people aren't subscribing. I'm losing about 50 subscribers a day, maybe 100. I think the first day or two, I lost like 100 a day. Now I'm losing like 50 a day. And I don't know if it's why. I don't know if it's my videos. I don't know if it's because I left phase or whatever the case may be. And it could be really demoralizing. You know, it could be really stressful. It makes me upset. But I can't stop. If I stop, where is that going to lead me? You know, this is the point I'm trying to prove. This is the point I'm trying to show. And hopefully, I can inspire, inspire you guys to think the same way. Because having a strong mentality and a right mentality could take you a, a far way in life and in general. You know, 
it'll take you far away. So hopefully, you know, things get better for me. I'm going to keep grinding. I'm going to continue giving it my all. I want to do better YouTube videos. I've been slacking a little bit. You know, I don't think my YouTube videos have been the best. But, you know, they've been okay for the most part. And I just want to say thank you guys for support. I just wanted to have a one-on-one -on -one talk with you guys. And, you know, just appreciate everything you guys do for the people who watch my videos, for the people who support me till the end of the day. You guys are awesome. So I'll see you guys later. Sorry for the rant. I'll open, I'll open two supply drops for you guys in the meantime. But don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I got you in that, in that, in that supply drop. This has been your boy, Apsy, and I'm out.